for us, that will be magnetic resonance imaging. Uh, I guess everybody uh, know this type of machines. You can find them in probably many, if not all, hospitals today, uh, and also research centers. And it's a it's a no, it's a non-invasive uh, tomographic uh, imaging modality that has been actually uh, very much awarded by Nobel Prizes, not less than eight Nobel Prizes can be linked to it, and that has driven major scientific and technological breakthroughs. Now, uh, it allows, as I said, to non-invasively image uh, the human body and the brain in particular, both in terms of anatomy and function. And what is so great with MRI is that you can do that with the so-called endogenous contrast mechanism which means there is no need to inject any contrast agent or, for instance, radioactive uh, uh, um, tracer like you do in PET imaging. Uh, you are actually really using just the tissue and, and the water in particular in the body uh, as it is present uh, by nature. And there are basically two main types of imaging that you can do with MRI. The first one is structural imaging. Uh, and here you see an illustration of a three-dimensional volume acquired in a couple of minutes. You can see that we can reach whole brain coverage and we have an exquisite contrast of the soft tissue. In particular, you can see very clearly the boundaries between the gray and the white matter in the, in the brain. 